everyone, it's me Tiffany aka It's Me Lady G. I am here with my belly. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you the 9 things I always buy from Whole Foods which are completely affordable. Because a lot of people always think Whole Foods is, is, is expensive which it can get, believe me I know. But these couple of things that I buy, I always buy there because they are affordable. I'm going to dive right into it, get it started because I don't want this to be a super long video because I have a tendency of that happening. Just another tip. Whole Foods store brand 365, that's going to be your best bet when it comes to saving money, okay? They have both organic things and non-organic, but the, whenever you see that 365, la 365 label, that means that it's the store brand. So it's going to be cheaper, but still high quality, okay? So that's this is the first thing that I always buy. I can't even... I can't even eat another marinara sauce at this point. It is their marinara sauce. Um, it is $2.49, I'm pretty sure it is now. Especially since, with as with a lot of these things, some of these things, the price has gone down since Amazon purchased Whole Foods. I so, think before it was like $2.99. So this is now $2.49. So that's the thing I always buy, and it's and it's delicious. It really is. It It's better, I think, one of the best jarred marinara sauces that you can buy and the ingredients are pretty straightforward there's nothing really in here that's crazy at all so i would say that's my first thing the next thing that i always buy are potatoes russet potatoes are now and these are conventional but they're russet potatoes and they are 59 cents i'm pretty sure at the time of this taping 59 cents a pound as opposed to whatever they were before and that's pretty affordable compared to everywhere else. Now a lot of times people are gonna say, oh well why don't you buy organic all the time? Sometimes it's not in the budget. I try to purchase my foods and produce from places where they have a a pretty high quality of, of food pretty much. When I go to some of the other grocery stores, this, the food just doesn't look as good you know I'm not asking for everything to be perfect all the time but the things just they look like rotten when you go to some other stores compared to when you go to Whole Foods they're, they're pretty good at keeping everything being fresh that's a complete aside these are 59 cents a pound the rest of potatoes and you can do so much with them you can make them into um, as I'm doing I'm making mashed potatoes now you can make a baked potato you can do all sorts of different things with them so that's what I would say with number two Next thing that I buy that's affordable from Whole Foods that I find affordable are the mushrooms. Now I'm not saying the ones that are packaged because you know package mushrooms and you still gotta go home and wash them anyway. As with most things packaged, you're paying for the convenience of it being in a package. So what you are losing is actually like volume. You're losing the amount of the actual product that you could be getting if you were you know buying it without the package. The mushrooms that you can buy at Whole Foods are loose and they come in like a basket and they fill them often and yes they are still you have to take them home and clean them but if you were to go to the farmers market you would pretty much get them like this anyway when you're buying it straight from the people they come and they they whiff the stuff straight from the farm or you know from their from foraging rather and then you would have to clean them off but the portobello mushrooms are organic which is good too because mushrooms they you know that's something you might want to get organic too they're $5.99 a pound I also buy cremini mushrooms aka baby bella mushrooms which are really just portobello mushrooms portobello mushrooms got bigger and cremini mushrooms are when they're smaller it's the same type of mushroom though but these are also $5.99 a pound at least to the, at the Whole Foods near me and you buy them again they're loose you take them home you wash them pretty good and cook them quick with them and they're all these are organic and they are cheaper for this amount that I bought today this was like four dollars and fifty cents that wasn't even a pound and I only bought two big really big caps that was like three dollars or something like that so you know if you were to buy them in the store package you you know the price would be all over the place compared to you know compared to that and it will also maybe probably wouldn't be organic the next thing I buy from there are carrots the loose carrots okay the loose organic carrots are only 99 cents a pound at Whole Foods it's gonna be in the bottom bin like you know you'll see all the stuff that's on the shelves and you'll see the packaged carrots and then the loose carrots you'll find there again a lot of times you're paying more for the convenience of having the stuff in a package and if you are gonna buy the ones that are already cut up and everything you're paying even more for that so I take these home I clean them off I cut them up and leave them in the refrigerator for my son and for us to use during the week and that's that only 99 cents a pound for organic carrots 
thing I buy from Whole Foods affordably are bagged greens. They have the bagged salads and, you know, even the baby spinach. I think they have a baby, the arugula, and I think a couple other ones. But the bagged spinach is the five ounce container, or bag rather, <laughs> and it's only $1.99. If you really look, again, let me back up, again, look for the 365, that's gonna be the cheaper one. This one is organic, all three of these are organic. Next thing I buy are bananas, and you wanna make sure you look for the ones that have a number four. Number four is not organic, but bananas, since they have such a thick skin, they're one of the ones that you can, if you're gonna go not organic with, you know, you can go non-organic with bananas. And they are fair trade, which means that, you know, they're mindful of their production practices with the people that are work for them and all sorts of things. But they're 49 cents a pound, for the non-organic bananas since Amazon purchased Whole Foods. So that's another thing that I buy from there. The next thing I buy from there, which you can't really see because they're in this bag right now, uh, but rolled oats. Rolled oats, especially now since they have, Amazon has purchased Whole Foods, they are now $1.49 a pound. I buy them in the bulk bin and it's organic rolled oats and that's a price I can't, I can't seem, I haven't been able to find anywhere else that's that cheap for $1.49 a pound. That's pretty damn good. So I buy that and I buy a lot of it <laughs> at a time. That's like the amount that couldn't fit in the jar that's behind the camera. So that is another one. The other thing I always buy is almond milk. They're organic almond milk. It comes in a two pack though. And the two pack is $5.49 for the two pack of the half gallon. And that's again, that's a price that's dropped since Whole, nope, Amazon has purchased Whole Foods. So it's $5.49 for two half gallons. So, you know, it's a good deal. I always buy it. I mean, right now I didn't buy it today because we have some already in the refrigerator, but that's a, that's a deal. Lastly, this is my current obsession because maybe because I am pregnant, but it is their lemonade from the 365 brand. I really like it. It's really good. And this, even though it's not organic, and it, it's like 25 grams of sugar each, um, you know, glass, but you can dilute it with some water. But it is so freaking good. And it's non-GMO. If you can't afford organic things sometimes, look for labels that have non-GMO because then it'll, it still went through the certification in order for it to be, have the non-GMO label. So that's like, you know, that's an alternative. And it's usually cheaper than the organic product. This is only $1.99 for this big container you know so this I've been recently I bought three today I've been we've been drinking them like crazy at least at least I have <laughs> if you're concerned with your sugar content uh, intake as you should be you can do a split with it you know either 50 50 or 70 30 or something as far as what how much water you want to put into it but it's still really really tasty okay so that is my list those are the things that I've been buying somewhat or those are like my staples <laughs> basically that i always buy from whole foods and they're really freaking affordable so those are my tips so always look in their app to see if they have anything that is on sale and you can scan it at the register i'm trying to think of anything else i may have some other tips i did do a whole video about some other ways to afford things at whole foods i'll put that in the description box below but you can always find other tips and things like this on my Instagram page at it's me lady G and also on my blog at it's me lady G.com okay so that is it for today hopefully you found this helpful please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye